they actually do say what you're saying out loud verbatim. They actually say it verbatim. I have something going on in my life and I've been saying that this person that I have to deal with prays for my demise because they do. They've even told me that. And I started saying, instead of praying for my demise, pray, pray for my success. And this person, person literally said, I started praying for you to succeed. Literally, they said, I started praying for you to succeed. Your words and what you say out loud reflect back to you in any situation, especially with people that you deal with one-on-one. -on -one. So if you're thinking your boss doesn't like you and you're telling people my boss hates me, if you're thinking your specific person is not being respectful, kind, loving, however you want to put it, they're hearing you say that. Whatever you say out loud reflects back in your reality. So how do you want these people to treat you is what you need to speak. It truly, truly matters. Like when you are praising somebody and raising them up, when you are asking somebody to do something for you, pray for my success. I prayed for you to succeed. What they did. Can you actually speak out loud only about the things that you want though? Because it matters. This is Susie, your beautiful swan queen. Welcome back to the garden, my beautiful duckling. Thank you for subscribing, smashing the like button, sharing my video. I love you. I am the best life coach with a 99.6% success rate in helping people get together with the love of their life. If you'd be interested in working with me one-on-one, -on -one, joining my paid Facebook group, upscaling your money, buying t-shirts from my daughter and her bestie, subliminals, all of those links are in the description below. I did a community post today and I wanted to put together something that was kind of crazy. Um, one of my friends helped me, M, as she likes to be referred to, and she said, Susie's gone batshit crazy and I've posted all over my social media on here on YouTube. Uh, the first two people that get in on this can definitely jump at this. It is a package where you get the Lucifer Text Boot Camp, which is two video calls, 30 minutes a piece, texting five days a week. Uh, you get a tarot card reading, you get a reverse channeling. The reverse channeling is where I talk to the love of your life. If you want to use this for help with career, job, family, any situation, I can talk to the person's higher uh, self and I can get them questions that they want to ask you, things that they feel that they need from you to be able to turn your situation around. And then I also do your heart's desire channeling. Um, the heart's desire channeling is anybody you want to channel the love of your life's family you want to channel the love of your life's um person that they're with the third party i'm not actually calling the third party but we can channel the third party there's a lot of crazy stuff susie knows how to do um it's easier to explain what my gifts don't allow me to do and a lot of times when i'm coaching y'all i don't tell you that this is what I'm hearing, this is what I'm feeling, this is what I'm smelling. I just go with my intuition and guide you. Um, so this package is gonna be kind of fun because it gets to bring out the psychic side of Susie, which is really, really accurate. Scary, scary accurate. Um, doesn't mean that if you like don't like the answers, we can change the situation. That's the beauty. When you go to somebody, if you do not like the answers and you get a tarot card reading, a channeling, uh, just a general psychic reading, you can change the answers if you don't like it. You can say, you know what? Watch me go out and prove you wrong. And you can get whatever you want. But in doing this whole package, so you will wind up with four, five, five calls, were a total of four hours, 
plus texting five days a week for $450. Yeah, I went a little wacky. I'm just having fun this year and I'm just playing and I'm really wanting to bring that playfulness into my business, into your lives, because if we're not having fun, we're, we're literally going crazy. So what fun things can you get people to say? When I worked in a bank, people would literally reflect the words that I was saying out loud. But to get this person to literally say, I was praying for your success is, is amazing because this person never has before. Uh, and this is somebody that I have to deal with a lot. So your words matter. And when you are speaking out loud about how people are supporting you, the most common question is how do I get, like I have top questions, all right? Um, the first thing people tell me, don't judge me. The second thing they tell me is, can I do this? And then they'll tell me, um, what's blocking me? What do I need to do differently? But this question is kind of common. How do I get everybody to support me? So you gotta say it out loud, first of all. It's the easiest thing, say it out loud. In this case, I literally was telling people, like I told it to my friend M, I told it to Savannah, I told it to somebody else. Like, why, you know, this person prayed for my demise, why are they praying for my success? Why are they now praying for my success? So your boss is giving you fits and you say, well, why is my boss praying for my success? Why is my boss uh, praying for my success? Why is my boss um, wanting to move me up in the company? And you start telling people and you start saying it out loud. Oh, my boss is gonna recommend me for a promotion. My boss is praying for my success. You're gonna start praying for your success. So two really poignant things in my life. I do not like the color pink. I don't. And I used to say I hate pink. When my girls were born, I told them, everybody, do not send me anything pink. You will never see them in it. Never see them in anything pink. Because I will not put them in pink. I hate pink. My house is full of purple. So I have purple lights, purple paintings. My purple blanket is over there. The dresser that I moved for my um, filing cabinet like into my, my office is painted purple. I want to repaint my apartment. This time I want to add a little bit more purple to the gray. Can we do a, a more purpley gray? Is that possible? Um, I kind of got permission too to do it. My, my landlord said, I said I want to paint. He said, go for it. How awesome is that? Go for it. So when you are talking about things, you want to talk about success. Like this person is praying for my success. This person is praying uh, for me to, to, like your specific person. Why is your specific person praying to marry you? Why is your specific person praying to be a part of your life? Like this person was doing, why do you love pink? I don't know who this person is that's asking me why I love pink. And then they're giving me, because it's my favorite color, as an answer. And I'm like, yeah! So I started retaliating, well, why do you love purple? Because it's my favorite color. I think I figured out who the person is, and I noticed that person is now saying that they love purple. Purple is their favorite color. It always used to be pink, and they're wearing more purple. Because I asked, why are you wearing more purple? When you start speaking out loud and you start talking out loud to the people you can trust, what happens is they come in and because they come in, they will sit there and start telling you what you wanted them to say. So you want this person to give you an apology. Beware of an apology. Beware. Because apologies can come with, I'm so sorry, I'm, I, 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 I will always have fond memories of you, but we want the apology to be, why are they apologizing and asking to try again? Why is this person coming to me and saying, you know, I'm so sorry, I shouldn't have treated you that way. I realized that you are the love of my life and I would like to try a relationship with you again.
Would you be interested in an apology like that? Then you have to tell people, well, why are they coming to me apologizing, telling me I'm the love of their life and they want to be in a relationship with me? Words matter. Hashtag words matter. Let's, let's, let's really think about this because the more we focus on what we want, that want grows. And that want grows to a point where that it has no choice but to come in. So if you're literally walking around going, there's a problem. I don't know what the problem is. I'm doing all the work and they're not showing up. What's the problem? What am I doing wrong? What do I need to do different? Or you're affirming and you're like, oh, I didn't do enough today. I didn't do enough today. How about I did enough? They felt that I was busy and they loved the fact that even though I was busy, I took the time out to affirm. And because I was busy, they're showing up. They're showing up. Even though I was busy today and didn't have enough time to affirm as much as I wanted, they're still showing up for me. So where? I'm going to say this out loud. When you are manifesting your specific person, where are you saying, where are you giving the order for them to show up? Where are you giving the order for them to show up? If you are literally walking around saying, you know, I'm working really hard. I'm doing the, the affirmations, the subliminals, I'm scripting. I am talking out loud about my specific person and then you're saying what's the problem they're not showing up i'm talking out loud i'm scripting i'm listening to subliminals i'm affirming and now they're showing up god show me that they're showing up show me they're showing up show me it shows up and you do this with everything show me the money is showing up in my account Show me the job is showing offers is here. Show me that the love of my life is wanting to be in a relationship with me. Like I just did three different techniques here. Questions, literally questions and show me and scripting because I'm scripting the words I want them to say. So I use scripting questions and show me three different techniques. And if I just do those three different techniques and I want to amplify those three different techniques, I can see that they're showing up. I can see God is sending this person my way. God is showing me that he is sending this person my way. And now I can see that this person is coming my way. I can see the money pouring in. God's showing me the money and I can see that it's now pouring into my bank account. God is showing me that life is getting amazing. And I can see that life is getting amazing. When you literally start talking about the things that you want, the things that you need, the things that you desire, and you start looking for evidence, because I said this years ago, you got to look for evidence. Back in 2020, if you look at my videos, Exaggerated Evidence Stories, I believe is one of the titles. Exaggerated Evidence Stories. I'm seeing that thousands of dollars pour into my bank account. I'm seeing daily texts from my specific person. I'm seeing steady, dependable communication from them. I'm seeing that they are invested in this relationship. They're showing me through texts and I'm seeing it. They're showing me through phone calls and I'm seeing it. They're showing me through video chats and I'm seeing it. They're showing me dates and I can see it. We have to start using our words in a more powerful way. You're married to the love of your life and the love of your life wants you to be home and you have to go somewhere for a function. And you're over here saying, oh, he's going to let me go. 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 Instead of maybe we should go together. 
well, why do you want me home? Or it's going to be a really bad storm out there and I would prefer that you stay home where you're going to, I know you're safe. That's, that's what we're doing. We're keeping our words to ourselves. We're sharing with no one because we want to be safe in creating our manifestation. Well, if we're safe in creating our manifestation and nobody knows about it, then you think, oh, great. And then I hear, well, Susie, I don't have anybody to talk to me about this. If you're texting it to somebody, you're saying it out loud. If you're watching YouTube videos, you're either hiding in your room or you are talking about those videos you're watching. You're on Facebook groups. Even if you have a dummy profile, you're in Facebook groups and you're talking about it. So you're typing, oh, scripting. We're typing out what we want, type, 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 type. All of these things bring us our desire. So if you really want this person to say what you want them to say, I wanna, I wanna stop the divorce. I wanna get back together with you. I'm sorry I wasn't being you know, nice and respectful. I love you, you're the love of my life. I want to be in this relationship with you. Let's let's hold off on the divorce. Let's get back together. I'm so sorry that the third party, you know, made you feel that you weren't loved. She meant nothing to me. And then you go looking for evidence that she really didn't mean nothing, but you're like, I have to prove he's ly not lying, which in train proves that he's lying because you're walking around going, is he lying? Is he lying? Instead of, is he telling the truth? Show me he's telling the truth. How can I see that he's telling the truth? A lot of you have trust issues. Why is your specific person showing you that you can trust them? Why are you seeing that they're telling you the truth, that they're being honest with you, that they're being faithful with you? The love of your life should bring you peace. You should be each other's peace. And if you're really, truly trying to change this person, go back to the beginning. Why are you doing this? Why are you praying for my success? Why are you praying for my success? Why are you praying for your specific person's success? Why are you praying for your specific person to change their mind? You're doing all of these things and then you're giving the wrong answers. So instead, ask your specific person. You're getting up in the morning, you're standing in the shower, you're taking a shower, you're home alone. Start talking to your specific person in the shower. Say their name out loud. Their full name. Jason Momoa, why are you reaching out to me today? Because you think I'm adorable, that's why. I could probably get Dean Winchester, but he's, you know, he's a character. I don't think I could get a character to reach out for me. But I could get the actor who's the character to reach out to me. Because Dean uses that. I'm adorable. Oh, the other thing Dean could do, you could do with Dean, is he thinks he's Batman. He's Batman. And Jensen Ackles, I think, was supposed to be doing a thing on Batman. So if you... Wanted Jensen Ackles to follow you on your Instagram. Why does Jensen Ackles follow me on Bat um, Instagram? Because he's Batman. He's Batman. That's why he follows me. Why are you following me? Why are you doing this for me? Why are you spoiling me? Why are you spoiling me? Because spoiling means they know your favorite drink. They know your favorite food. Oh, so like, I don't like tacos. I, I really don't like tacos. I do not like the hard taco shell. I don't like the soft taco shells. So if Savannah goes to Taco Bell, she brings me this plate and it has like beans in it, lettuce, tomato, guacamole, sour cream. It has taco meat in it, but it doesn't have the shell. So Taco Tuesday, that's what I would get. We go to a Mexican restaurant on Taco Tuesday and I'm going to get a fajita and I tell them don't bother bringing me the shells because I won't eat them. And I'll come out and I'll be like, I don't want those. Like, are you sure? No, I don't want them. Yuck. I don't want them. Your person's going to know that. So now they go out for takeout. 
and they order takeout and they come home with this takeout and you notice that there's two packages of shells and they're like, oh, babe, don't worry about it. I know you don't like the shells, but it's extra for me for when I have leftovers. I'm like, what do you mean you're going to have leftovers? You never finish your meal. So I get to finish it later. Oh, so you, you brought the shells for you. Yeah. They're going to do things. But now I went to Chick-fil-A and you got lunch and I'm allergic to pickles. So I said, you know, I want a number one, no pickles. And can you flag it for an allergy? And they always say, absolutely. Love that about Chick-fil-A. Absolutely, I could do that for you. You get to the drive-thru, you check it out. You get home, you open it up. There's no pickles. You're with your specific person. And your specific person pulls up to Chick-fil-A and goes, I need a number one, no pickles, flag for a pickle allergy. And he waits for that person to say it because he knows that's your order. You go sit down at a restaurant and your meal shows up and they know you're allergic to pickles and they look at your meal and theirs doesn't have any pickles because they didn't order what you did. And they're like, do you want to change? They're like, I really wanted this. And they're like, okay, let's get it fixed. They're not going to be upset with you. There's so many things in life that we don't look at the good side on. You want to be with the love of your life. You got to start looking at the good side. You got to start looking at how amazing they treat you. And if you want them to treat you amazingly, start saying it out loud. Why are you treating me amazingly? Why are you doing nice things for me? All of you are so set on, why is he bringing me flowers? Why is he bringing me chocolates? Valentine's Day, I have to have chocolate and flowers and a chick flick and dinner. Did you really ask him to do that for you though? Or did you just say, I want to be taken out on a date for Valentine's Day? Because we already know taking out on a date does not mean you're going to have this romantic Valentine's date. Now we're coming up into summer. Ooh, we got barbecues coming. Who's got a grill? Because I don't get barbecue very often. It's the only downside to my apartment. It really truly is, is I can't have a barbecue grill. If I do, it'd have to be portable. I'd have to take it out on the other side of the parking lot. And then I have to wait for it to cool down, dump the ashes, clean it so I can bring it back in. It's a lot of work. It's way too much work for barbecue. But I love a charcoal grill. Like somebody made chicken and I didn't realize they had an actual used charcoal. And I took a bite of the chicken and it was like heaven. And she said, we're going to do that a lot more this summer. And I'm like, yes! Oh, does that mean I get to invite myself? Because <laughs> that's a joke in our family. Can I invite myself for dinner? Oh, you're having a party? Because they'll text me on, you know, or snap me and like I'm having a party. And I'm like, do I get invited? Am I invited? Barbecue, am I invited? And they're like, are you inviting yourself? I'm like, can I invite myself? Yes, you're supposed to invite yourself. Oh, I didn't know that. Um, we have somebody who might be doing movie night so we can barbecue, watch a movie. How cool would that be? There's so many things that you're missing because you're stuck on little things like flowers and them apologizing. And then you're affirming, you're doing all of this work that you have such a tight hold on them that the definition of insanity is to continue your subliminals, your affirming, your scripting, your schedule of I didn't do enough instead of saying why why are you showing me because when you start asking them to show what you want they can't resist they really can't resist honest to god they can't resist um yes so my shirt does say I hate people um I hate being out in public. After working eight years in Realtel, um, a friend of mine actually did this and the shirt was made as um, kind of a ha ha because she didn't believe it at first. She's like, there's something wrong with people, but there's a certain store that people shop in a lot. I won't name the store. And when you work there, it's high, toxic, it's high stress. It's 
it's a lot. And when you leave there and you now work from home, you are like, how did I put up that so long? And I don't want to go in public. And this friend of mine is in the same boat and we discussed this. And I said, and you all thought it was, I hate people. I hate toxic people. I truly hate toxic people. And my goal in life is to change the world to a more loving place. One person, one canvas at a time. And I am achieving that because I've changed more than one person to have healthy, happy living relationships. It can be done. You just gotta do the work. And the work is hard at first, but it does get easier. I promise you, it does get easier. Once you embody the state, the story, the energy, the vibration, the vortex, whatever you wanna call it, and you let my beautiful ducklings do their job, those 30 billion souls that are currently on planet Earth, as well as passed on angels, loved ones. When you let those 30 billion beautiful ducklings step up and move what needs to be moved around for you to get what you desire, life has a beautiful flow to it. It's like listening to this amazing music. I am hooked on this Andre Bocelli song. Um, I believe Tori Kelly sings it with him and I am just so hooked on this. It starts out with, there is a secret chord that David played for the Lord. Wait, there is a secret chord that David played and it pleased the Lord. The way those two sing this song, it just, you can feel, feel it, all right? And I want you to feel like when you hear that beautiful song, I can literally just play that first chorus where she does it in English and then he does it in Italian and I don't know what he says in Italian, but it is beyond beautiful. And life should be like that, like your favorite song, that song that picks you up and makes you just smile. And then that smile just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And when you get to that point in life and you realize that you are actually living that life, you just kind of sit back and go, wow. And I've worked with some people in the past and this is where I'm going with this really wow. The person that they were creating a year ago, two years ago, came back to me for coaching for different things and that person sitting in front of me is the person I helped them create a year ago, two years ago. It is the most amazing feeling in the world. The way they sit, the way they walk, the way they talk. When you truly embody what you want, your thoughts, your feelings, the way you speak, the way you walk, the way you react to things, changes so there is no belief or problem that is stopping you from getting what you want you're just not fully in the embodiment of what you do want you have a foot in both paths and you just gotta bring that left foot a little bit over to the right so you can be fully locked and loaded i love you guys you have an absolutely positively amazing day I am so happy that Travis is doing so much better. So let's keep up the good work. Give me a comment. Let me know the donor was found. Travis is cured. And life is absolutely amazing for him. And it just keeps getting better and better. Leave me a comment. Let me know how. I am drastically changing your life for the better. That's why I do this. Because I want to know that your life has drastically changed for the better. Have an amazing day, my beautiful duckling.